You are one of the best things to ever happen to me. And so I must prepare myself for the worst. For love comes inevitably interlocked with loss. Every great love drags behind it just as great a loss as its cost. But never again shall I be shocked by the debt collector's knock. Nor shall I be found fumbling on all fours at the fading of a dame's chorus, feeding from the ground, bleeding at the mouth from screaming my devotion. I have long since begun the process of losing you routinely to root in me the coming cruelty of your leaving. I walk behind you most religiously to acquaint myself with the sight of your back and the swing of your stride on the path of your fleeing. I imagine your final exit every time you walk out the door even if only to the store. I squeeze forever into those few minutes and try to have forgotten you by the time you return to our shores. I visualize losing you so vividly that your leaving visits me ceaselessly. I rehearse releasing you so readily that your remnants have already made themselves known to me. Every day I hold you only to acquaint myself with the feeling of letting you go. Every day the loss of you takes hold of me. I exercise accepting your exit so efficiently that your energy already radiates that of an ancient being. I memorize your smell and touch with great accuracy for the times you will no longer be with me. I keep forgotten bits of you in my museum of innocence to remember you gently. Tufts of your hair hang on the walls, up the stairs to the pantry. Bits of your bitten apples are hidden in a trench for preservation of their sanctity. A couple of your lost socks are in a secret box behind the broken chair by the magazines. The broken cup you drank with, I put together with my soul for later reckoning. I dug up a pair of your old underwear and framed it to hang atop the bedroom door as welcoming. I practiced plowing through the pain of our parting so precisely I can preempt every pan as though prompted by some premonition. I anticipate all the agony with such accuracy. You could swear I designed it myself and flushed myself of all empathy. But still, I cry for you fairly frequently, almost daily, to make sure your departure finds the ocean in me completely empty. I have seen your coming leaving. I have seen your shadow practice the steps without your knowing. I've seen your eyes wander towards the wilderness of a new glowing. I felt your touch trail off without your skin moving. I felt your grasp loosen before your palms could disprove it. I peeped into the parts of you most elusive and saw the bags of your heart getting packed for no return. And I know with certainty that time is a fraudulent beast. And I cannot stand the sleight of hand I've once before seen. So I do not let you go because I do not love you, but because everything I have ever loved, I have lost. And so too with you, it must be. <laughs>